Another thing I've done since the last recording session is I started creating trapping tools. Especially on high rank as the monsters get tougher, when you get them to a near death state, I mentioned before, you can trap them to end the quest earlier and reduce the risk of things going sideways while you're out there. And if I can get a monster to limp and then go back and go to sleep, I will try and make it a point to cap them so we can move things along a little bit, a little bit faster. And then, I didn't mean to go to the gathering hall, but since we haven't been here, we can take a look. This is the multiplayer hub for the base Monster Hunter world. I'm currently playing in a private session at the moment, but if I was playing with people online, be they friends or randoms, you can gather in the gathering hub to interact with other people. You can take quests, post them to the group, and change your gear. And it functions like a pretty centralized hub for multiplayer activity. In Iceborne, they did something a little bit different in that they... added some features and overall made the utility function of the gathering hub a little bit better. It's in a completely different setting and we'll see that when we get there. But maybe when I go online to play with random people we can hit up the gathering hub and maybe get some other people in the session. Well that troublemaker is gonna make even more trouble if we don't get out there and investigate. Let's grab Attack up. We're good on items. Grab the quest. We'll go out for high rank rematch against our old buddy Anjaneth. Okay. We are in the Wild Spire Waste, which I believe this is the first time we've encountered Anjanath here. This is part of the storyline. We're looking for a mysterious species of monster that no one's encountered yet. But before we can do that, we have to, we have to take Anjanath out of the picture so it stops interfering with our investigation. To remember where it spawns. We head to the middle of the map and look for tracks. We should be able to pinpoint its position. like there's any signs of it out here. We might have to sweep up towards the north part of the map. What we'll do is we'll cut through the middle of the map, see if we start picking up tracks for Anjanath. There's a Baroth walking around that we'll have to keep an eye out for. Grabbing tons of Baroth clues, but nothing for 
big pink floofy boy. What we can do is cut through the forest on the left side and see. I can't remember if there's a cutscene tied to this particular mission. We just have to proceed through and try and. Oh, here we go. Engine has footprints. Oh. And there he is. Wasting no time. Got white, got orange. Just need to get a shot on the head. This particular set isn't quite as tanky as the Defender set, or Guardian set that we made. We'll have to be a little bit careful of Antonath's attacks and not to get careless. Because this is high rank, it can end us pretty easily if we're not careful. As a result of doing aerial damage with the glaive, we can get our mounts fairly easy against Anjanath here. As we move between the monsters' sections, you'll see the Elta will do these flips, which is kind of neat, and those do a little bit of damage as she moves. Let's try and get the tail. Overall, the Insect Glaive's damage isn't going to be as high as the Greatsword, but because we're, we're attacking relatively quickly, the damage will add up. I could get out of the way. Nope, I got roasted instead. Knowledge is your best weapon and defense. Make sure you've read off on all the monsters in the monster field guide. Yep. It's still high rank. Another thing we'll have to do when using the glaive is keep an eye on sharpness because this weapon hits so quickly and repeatedly it'll eat through its sharpness relatively fast compared to the greatsword paired with handicraft or sharpness degradation mitigation skills are pretty good for weapons like insect glaive so you don't have to sharpen as often but I don't have those so I'll just have to Keep an eye on my sharpness to make sure I don't go down too far.
because we're fairly mobile on the ground, being able to maneuver around Anjanath and stay out of the way of its more damaging attacks would be helpful. Namely, things like that. Can also get some dust out here. Overall, Anjanath's attack pattern on high rank is fairly similar to low rank. I think it moves faster at higher rank and does a lot more damage, but overall, it's it doesn't have too many tricks. Its most dangerous attacks are still the fire-based ones. And scale plus. And our extracts are out. We'll have to grab the triple. Hopefully, we can do that before it notices we're here. Using the marker, we can have our bug target Anjanath's face. Which will help us get some dust clouds on its actual head. It's still a little bit dangerous. We want to not be hanging around the business end where the fire comes out. Fortunately, we did enough damage to knock it over. And now Anjanath is tired. And near death, too. A couple more good combos, and we should be able to put him down. Now we can test out trapping, since I haven't done that yet. We'll let Anjanath limp off to its lair and go to sleep. Or it could get mad. If it doesn't end up leaving the area, then I'll try and cap it here. Let's see, just wait for a 
an opening, drop the shock trap. Now all we have to do is lure it into the trap, and then drop two trank bombs on top of it. And now we have captured the monster, thus ending the quest. Overall, not too bad. Took some pretty big hits, cost us a faint, but overall, not too bad. When I get back to camp, I'll take a look and see if the Anjanath bit we got, the scale, is enough to upgrade the greatsword and we'll switch weapons back to the original one. We'll keep proceeding with our greatsword through the rest of the content for a bit and maybe we'll mix it up again later. And the canteen upgraded, so we should get some better meals. Still in one piece, then. Mm -hmm. Try hard, will you? As we were doing missions, we're filling the bar for the question mark Rathian. We might be able to get that quest after we talk to the same guy again. Coral Highlands. Time to be heroes. Okay. We should be able to get the quest from the commander. We'll do that, and then we will go up to the workshop and do a gear check before we head on. Over here. <laughs> Sign up for the quest, partner. It's time to hunt the monster that left that trail. All right. Uh, that unlocked the arena. When we capture monsters, we'll help get the ability to fight them in arena quests, which is basically a small contained area where you get to score off with the monster. We jump over to the Defender Greatsword 3. Okay, well, the item we need isn't an Anjanath scale. But we'll go ahead and switch back to our weapon for now. 